Hi you guys, my name is Becca and welcome back to my channel where I share with you guys tons of content on lifestyle, beauty, my pregnancy, and in reality I guess just now baby content because I'm no longer pregnant, if you did not already know somehow. Um, I have documented my entire pregnancy so you can check out that playlist down below. I have a couple more pregnancy videos. I think that are still going up because I didn't know I was going to go into labor early so I still have some that are going to be up but I wanted to sprinkle in some baby and mom style content while I get those up of course but definitely let me know what like mommy and baby style videos you want to see here on my channel of course but today is going to be my one week postpartum update. If you want to see a one week baby update, that should already be up, so it'll be linked down below, but it'll, it'll also be in my like baby playlist, of course. But I figured I'd give like a one week update on how I'm doing personally, and then I'll probably switch them to maybe doing monthly updates, if anything, but I'll probably do monthly baby updates for sure. I don't know if I'll keep updating on postpartum, but I figured the first week is definitely the hardest, so I wanted to give you guys a little update on just everything that's been happening. I'm not gonna share too much uh, regarding like labor and delivery because I do wanna film a labor and delivery story. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know for sure because I really wanna do that. But let's get into my postpartum update. So postpartum started out really rough for me pretty much right away. I was very surprised because I expected it to be very easy because my pregnancy was very easy and healthy and positive. My labor and delivery was complicated um, and traumatic for the baby, but it was very positive for me. So uh, you guys will understand more on that when I put my labor and delivery video up, of course, when I can film that story. Um, but because of my the complications, I definitely had a hard recovery right away. I had um, a third degree episiotomy tear. Um, so a lot of stitches. I also lost a very large amount of blood during labor and delivery. I was literally like blue. So I had to have some blood transfusions the next day. And I also spiked like a 101 fever directly after delivery. So because of that, it made the rest of my stay a lot harder because there were basically nurses coming in constantly between me and the baby. So I was not sleeping right away. The baby was having issues with latching right away and I was in pain and miserable and I knew that my husband was going to be leaving again soon and I just wanted to go home and that did not get to happen. So it was really, really hard uh, pretty much right away. Uh, the afterbirth contractions were definitely painful, but they weren't the worst thing ever by any means. I actually used that after ease supplement, and honestly, they weren't that bad, especially because my contractions during labor were very manageable, so um, they stayed pretty manageable after as well. Um, it was just mainly the pain of the epidural site. I definitely was having some like electric kind of pain and all of my stitches. I definitely was so uncomfortable and that made it a lot harder to deal with the fact that the baby wasn't latching um, and that we had to supplement with formula right away for jaundice. It definitely made it a lot harder. So while we were in the hospital, I feel like I definitely was very down. And then once we got home, everything got a lot easier and a lot more positive for sure. I probably had like three different mental breakdowns regarding either the fact that my husband had to leave and also how hard breastfeeding came uh, pretty much right away. I didn't expect it to be so hard and it was, um, but by five days postpartum, he was finally latching and we've kind of made a lot of progress since then. Cause I am actually nine days postpartum when I'm filming this video. I am a little late to the one week game because I have a new baby and it's hard because I'm single parenting right now so my husband gets home so I'm a little late but all of that's really improving a lot he is breastfeeding I'm also pumping so I'm able to start making a stash for the future and I've been feeling really good since I've been home for the most part I definitely have my moments kind of towards the nighttime because it is hard not having my husband here but in reality I do feel very good since I've been home I've been Sleeping fairly good. I definitely get anywhere between a two, three, or even four hour stretch with the baby so far in the first week. So it's really allowed me to kind of recover and gear up for, you know, the future of a baby because I know that they don't always 
they're not going to be this easy forever of course but it's allowing me to kind of catch up on everything in the meantime so I can be refreshed and ready for whatever is kind of thrown at us of course um but recovery has been a lot easier since I've come home um bleeding isn't that bad the pain isn't that bad um everything's pretty simple but yeah basically I will go for a three-week appointment and I'm hoping that they'll clear me to be able to kind of like go out on walks and stuff like that at that appointment but I know that I have to wait until the six-week appointment to be able to do real exercise so I'm kind of just taking it easy and laying around and chilling right now with the baby and just enjoying having a newborn um i will post at the end of this video my current uh postpartum belly uh for my week postpartum uh and i also will show you guys kind of my four week shot which is before i was truly pregnant and then my 37 week and compare it to one week postpartum um i was pumped with probably a good like 10 bags of fluids during my hospital stay at least i had a lot of fluids i also had i think two pints of blood um and a ton of different medications so i was pumped with a lot of stuff and i was extremely swollen after delivery ironically i was not swollen before but i was very swollen after um but i did gain a total of about 25 pounds through my entire pregnancy and then at my one week weigh-in, I did not um, weigh myself, like I don't weigh myself every day. I think I'm, maybe I'll do it weekly just to see. Um, but at my one week weigh-in, I am about 10 pounds from my start weight. So I've already lost 15 pounds between labor and delivery and flushing out those fluids and just the first week of postpartum life. So I'm only 10 pounds from where I started, which makes me feel really good because I know that I can get back into shape and feel great again before I know it. So I'm just going to take it easy and let the next, you know, the six week span you know just take it easy and enjoy my baby and then i can worry about getting back into the gym after that so it's not a big deal to me at all but it does make me feel good that i'm not i'm not that far off only being 10 pounds away from where i started isn't bad for me at all so i'm feeling really positive about that as well but yeah that's not too much to update on i guess um just that so far you know the first few days were really hard on me and after that it's really been pretty good so i'm really really happy i'm feeling pretty positive which is nice um but yeah if you want to see my one week update and my kind of sharing with the baby of course uh you can check out that video down below let me know what other kind of mommy and baby style videos you guys want to see on my channel because i am looking to start getting up getting ready and getting busy again of course i kind of took the first week to really just lay around and enjoy my baby but i want to get back to sharing with lots of fun content with you guys so i definitely want to do some fun baby videos so let me know which ones you guys want to see and uh that is it for my update i will put my belly shot next and then i will see you guys in my next video Alright, so this is what my belly looks like at one week postpartum. Technically, it's nine days, but still one week, whatever. Um, my belly button hasn't fully gone in. Um, the only, like, stretch mark style things I've gotten are just that darkness around my belly button ring area. But once I put my belly button ring back in, you won't really see it and it'll fade, so I don't feel bad about that. Um, but I didn't get any stretch marks on like my stomach or my hips, which I was really surprised about. But that is the side view. That is the front view. And the other side. So as you can see, my uterus is definitely still contracting down. I've got the belly right there, but I'm feeling pretty good. And feeling pretty positive about it, so I can't really complain right now.